Hello everyone, fitness habits get disrupted by injury, by missed sessions, by bad days, by plateauing. Today we're talking about how our family recommits to our fitness when things go wrong. Hello again everyone, Jason here. Today we're continuing our short series on fitness by discussing how we get back into our fitness routine when life throws us out of routine. In our previous videos, we first went into eight principles for developing a love of exercise and establishing that fitness habit. We then talked about how getting a good cardiovascular and strength base is the foundation from which all other fitness work happens. But what happens when life gets in the way of our fitness work? because it does. One of the fundamental ways we can get thrown out of our fitness routine is by injury. Either we've trained too hard or we get injured while out on an adventure, or heck, we get injured slipping on ice in our driveway. Every injury is going to be different in terms of if you should be going through a restful or active recovery, and you should listen to your medical provider about the best way to proceed and get through the injury itself. But when it is time to get back to your routine, I advocate for a ramp up period. You should start by reducing the weight or the miles or the frequency of the work for any one muscle group. Assuming any injury is now resolved enough that it can handle the workload, then it really is about getting your body and your mind used to providing output again. Your body may have gotten a bit weaker depending upon the length of time that you had to take off, so simple things like muscle soreness or soft tissue pain can creep up if you go too hard too quickly. And for kids, reestablishing a routine that doesn't require them to jump in and be as focused and practiced as they were before can make all of the difference as far as they're enjoying the experience and wanting to keep going with their fitness journey. Keep your chest up. They haven't done thousands and thousands of reps to ensure that their muscle memory can just snap them right back into the correct form. Give them some time to remember the moves and get back to a good baseline. If there's any other reason that you might miss a bunch of workouts in a row, maybe some unexpected travel or something like that, then I would recommend the same ramp up strategy. I've personally found that for strength training, keeping the same weight and rep count, but limiting the number of sets has been most effective in getting me back to full training the most quickly. For cardio, it's all about limiting mileage, so I may run or bike a little harder, but for less time or less distance. Another thing that can derail your fitness habit is the simple single miss session, or maybe two. We all know and have experienced lots of reasons for missing a single workout. Maybe you went on a trip. Maybe you had a late night at work. It could be as simple as forgetting to set your alarm. You obviously don't need to ramp up your body and mind for a single missed day, but you do need to forgive yourself. Maybe this isn't a problem for some of you, but I know many people who wrestle with this. I don't think you need to double up on the next day to make up for it. If you're using two days as a purposeful strategy to ramp up the amount of work, that can make some sense. But if you're doing that as a sudden change because you missed a day and it's an otherwise steady workflow, you may end up risking injury or impacting the quality of the day after you do the two a day. I think you just need to move on and try to make the next day a great workout. Just skip the missed day and do the next one, but commit to making the next one a really great session. Speaking of committing to having a good session, sometimes despite best intentions, you just have a bad day. Maybe you're unfocused because something else is going on in your life. Maybe you didn't get your nutrition right. Maybe you didn't sleep well. Again, there can be a whole host of reasons. What do we do when we have a bad day and the level of effort just isn't there? Again, forgiveness plays a big part here. In our family, we don't subscribe to the old football coach mentality of doing wind sprints or some such as punishment for ourselves, but especially for our kids. This goes back to one of our principles being keeping things positive so that the desire to put in the work doesn't go away. Besides, wind sprints aren't exactly a root cause solution. We tend to take some time talking about the less than stellar effort and asking questions about what may have contributed to it. We then try and fix those issues. Does a sleep routine need to potentially start earlier? Did we introduce too many new exercises and things were confusing to either our minds or our bodies? 
do I need to go address an issue that I have in my life that maybe has me stressed out and has been on my mind? Spending some time debriefing the bad days, just as we make sure we congratulate each other and celebrate the good days, is really important for getting back into routine. And finally, let's talk about what happens when anyone in our family plateaus. That is, we stop making progress in our fitness. It might be that a routine is so memorized that we can just do it without being really present and focused. Or maybe we're still present and focused, but our body just isn't making any more gains. Either way, the solution is usually the same. Change up the exercises. This doesn't mean swap out all of your exercises for new ones. Just start replacing exercises a couple at a time. And you can change up your cardio too. For instance, maybe you need to move to interval training for a while and work on some speed, then build back to longer runs, but trying to maintain those new speed gains. Take the time to do some research and find the right movements to help you achieve your goals. So that's how our family goes about working our way through common barriers to our fitness habits. In the end, it's all about going back to our first principle from our first fitness video, and that's honoring routine. Sometimes by dialing back, sometimes by fixing issues from other parts of our lives, and sometimes by changing things up, but just a little bit at a time. So how do you keep a good fitness habit? Have any tips or tricks like making sure you do it first thing or doing only body weight exercises so you can do them anywhere? Let us know in the comments section. If you want additional thoughts related to this video and every video we produce, along with links to equipment we discuss, sample gear lists, sample itineraries, and links to other outdoor resources, please visit our website at shortguysbetaworks.com. The link's in the description below. And if you want to be alerted as we release new content, please subscribe and ring that bell. We produce educational content like this, as well as short films of our family adventures, and we release something new every week. So if you have ideas for content that you'd like to see, you can put those suggestions in the comment section too. Until next time, keep on getting more out of that big outside.